All right, so let's talk about the Psycho Bandit skin as well as the Mary Mintax pickaxe. So first of all, in case you forgot, the Psycho Bandit was actually in the item shop for 2,000 V-Bucks way back when. So I think it came out, someone will have to correct me if I'm wrong, two times. I know it came out once because I didn't buy it the first time. And then the second time it came out, I did buy it. So you can see my video right here. This is when it was in the shop for 2,000 V-Bucks and you got the entire bundle. Now, in addition, if you purchased Borderlands 3 when it first came out, you also got the skin for quote free. I mean, you had to buy the game, but it came free with it. However, then the promotion ended and he hasn't been back to the item shop since. So it's a pretty rare skin. In fact, a lot of people want this skin. It's a super sought after skin. Now for the Merry Mint Axe, this never came to the item shop. The only way to get this was from GameStop. So I remember this specifically because it was four years ago. I went to my local GameStop because I saw people say, hey, if you go to GameStop right now and ask for free codes, they'll give you as many as you want. So unfortunately, I waited till the next day. By the time I got there, I guess a lot of the employees got in trouble. So they limited it to if you made a purchase. And that's how it was supposed to be as well. So if I had went one day prior, I could have went in there and said, hey, could I have 50 of these codes? And they would have just handed them to me. That's what they were doing. But instead, when I got there, they said, no, we can only give you one per thing you purchase. So I just bought my son some Nerf guns and a Rubik's Cube, and they gave me like five of them. So I redeemed one, and I did a giveaway for the others way back four years ago. So why do I bring all this stuff up? Because out of the blue, people are receiving both of these items, the Psycho Bandit Bundle, as well as the Merry Mint Axe Pickaxe. So why is this happening? That's what everyone's trying to figure out. I forgot Claptrap talks. Did you hear that? He said we got to go to his birthday party if we win. So 16 hours ago, Sheena posted this. Apparently, some people got the quote, Psycho Bandit Borderlands skin out of nowhere for some reason. I didn't find a lot of information related to this, but it looks like people who got the skin pre-ordered Borderlands 3 on the Epic Store in the past. So I'm trying to make sense of this because if you pre-ordered it, that means you essentially bought the game, which means you would have got the skin anyway. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Because like I said, if you pre-ordered it, you got the game when it came out, and if you bought the game at that time, you got the skin. So why wouldn't these guys have got the skin way back then? I don't know. That's what I'm not understanding. But regardless, some people who for some reason did not have the skin on their account just received this pop-up. So this is what Sheena posted as well. This is the image. And it says, Epic Games Store on the left. And then it says, one of your recent Epic Games purchases includes a special Fortnite reward. Thank you. Drop in and have fun. And you can tell this is more recent because they're part of the Gaming Legends series. Now, yes, I know it's super, super possible to fake these images and people do anything for clout. So this could all be fake. But I believe this one because I've seen tons of comments about it. For example, look at this reply. This is from someone named Frog. It says, I literally just emailed Epic last weekend because I noticed that I didn't have the bundle after pre-purchasing Borderlands 3 when it first came out. I figured the bundle wasn't on my game since I didn't start playing Fortnite until 2021. I never got a response from Epic, but I got the skin. And this is 100% proof. This is not a faked image. This is real. It's on his screen. He's got it. So this is all true. So after reading this, it does make sense. Remember, remember how I was just trying to figure out why people were getting this? Well, this guy proves it. He said he pre-ordered the Borderlands 3 bundle when it first came out, but at the time, he didn't play Fortnite. So he didn't play Fortnite until after the promotion had ended. So I guess if you bought Borderlands 3 before you started playing Fortnite, and then the promotion period ended, and then you started playing Fortnite, you never got the skin until today. So that makes it much more clear. So if you're watching this video and you don't play Fortnite, and you bought Borderlands 3 during the promotion period, you can log into Fortnite right now and you should get this skin. Imagine starting out with one of the rarest skins in the game. That's crazy. And likewise, I've just had a ton of subscribers say, hey, Tabor, I logged on and I got the Psycho Bandit skin. Do you know why? How crazy is that? It's good that they're doing this, though. If you didn't play Fortnite at the time, but you bought the game, you can log in now and get it for free still. OK, so that's the Psycho Bandit. How about the Merry Mint X? Why are people receiving this? So here's the tweet that I saw this one. It's in Spanish, though, so I had to translate it. And this is from Spoosh FNBR. Now, he's pretty reliable. I've credited him several times on my channel. And this is what it translates to. Apparently, there is a bug that gives you some cosmetics when you enter the game. 
If you do not receive the cosmetic and the claim screen simply appears, but you already have the cosmetic, they do not give it to you. Okay, so I feel like something's lost in translation there, but he's saying some people are receiving this just by loading up Fortnite out of the blue. And then he's saying if you already own it and you click claim, obviously you don't get it because you already had it. So like I said, I own this on my account. I checked on every single account I own and I did not get a pop-up for any of it. Some have the pickaxe on them, some don't, and no pop-up happened. So this apparently is the image, and there's nothing on the left other than Epic Games. So some people are saying, hey, this is fake. And we should be aware that the data miners can make images like this easy. I'm pretty sure any of the data miners can make this image on PC. But what you can't replicate is on PS5. So here's where the original image stemmed from, and you can see this was a capture straight from this guy's PS5. And as far as I know, you can't do what the data miners can do on PC on PS5. So this is a real image, but the guy in question already owned the pickaxe, so it's not like he got it for free. It just gave him a pop-up almost simulating that he got it for free, but he already had it. And look at this, as soon as I started to record this video, he clarified. So this is his second tweet, and it says, To my fellow English-speaking colleagues, Fortnite is not giving the minty axe. This tweet just mentions this weird pop-up when launching Fortnite. Most likely a meaningless bug, but worth noting nonetheless. This screenshot was taken in PS5 and not altered, were not fake news. So there you go. It sounds like people really aren't receiving the Merry Mint Axe for free. But if you got that pop-up and you didn't own the pickaxe, I don't know, check your locker. Maybe you did get it. Let me know in the comments. But the Psycho Bandit for sure is real. People are getting it. I think we established why. And I guess if you get it, congratulations. One of the rarer skins and the cooler skins in Fortnite, especially if you like Borderlands. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.